Getting your family engaged in your cancer diagnosis is very, very important for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, they can facilitate a lot of the transportation needs that might be necessary, just the logistical uh, things, or I'd call them operational or day-to-day -day things. The reality of get, how do I get to that doctor's office? How do I get my appointments? How do I remember to keep all this together? Uh, it can be overwhelming to have a diagnosis of cancer, so if you have somebody a loved one, uh, uh, you know, close relative, uh, or even a very close friend uh, that can help you with that, that's very, very important. But beyond just the logistical or the operational things, there's, there is, um, I believe, tremendous uh, value in the positivity that comes out of an affirmative uh, way of looking at things. And we spend a lot of time talking with families in keeping a positive outlook on what can be a very challenging time in their lives of, of dealing with uh, a new diagnosis of a malignancy. It's the big unknown, it's very frightening to people, and uh, they need to have other people around them to be educated about it, um, to not just get all their information from the internet. Um, I do encourage patients to educate themselves and, and all but not to be, have the internet be the sole source of their knowledge because you can go down some dark paths if you don't understand um, what you're seeing, the data you're seeing, etc. And so we're very aggressive in educating patients about um, their disease um, while still encouraging them to, to seek as many uh, uh, different uh, sources of information as, as uh, they feel are important to them.